Hey guys, welcome back to Ashtoberfest. Today's video is going to be my attempt to create Ratfink. If you don't know who Ratfink is, he's this little gross rat. Not a good way to start off a makeup tutorial. He is a little gross rat. He was created by an artist named Ed Roth and back in like the 1950s, he was created kind of to be like the opposite of Mickey Mouse, kind of like, you know, gross and like, I don't know, but he ended up being really cute. I've always loved all of the illustrations of Rat Fink, so I'll pop up a couple photos of him here. My hands are so stained green, my lord. <laughs> There's also an artist on Instagram, Amber Carr, who recreated Rat Fink as a lady and made her look really pretty. And so I kind of took inspiration from that to create this look right here. I am wearing a shirt, it keeps falling down because I have no boots. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it, but really quick, don't forget to check the description box for all the products that I use, including the wig, arts and crafts, makeup, outfit, everything will be listed there, as well as how to enter today's giveaway and the Ashtoberfest 4 merch. If you haven't checked it out already, I think you should because it's so cool. So with this look, you could obviously do any kind of makeup because rats don't wear makeup and Rat Fink didn't wear makeup, so you could do whatever you wanted. I kind of didn't know what I was doing at first and I just started to do like a black wing, but I didn't want to keep it too simple. So I just started adding a bunch of glitter and rhinestones and I came up with this. So this tutorial is just for inspiration or if you want to recreate it, don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you do recreate any of the looks from Ashtoberfest. I love to share you guys to my stories, but I'm going to stop chatting and let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. So getting started with this look, I'm going to paint my entire body green. And my camera didn't even record me painting myself, but that's okay because I didn't like the way that it turned out and I take part of it off and redo it. Um, I mix an alcohol-based paint with a water-activated paint and, you know, I just, I didn't love how it was looking. On camera it doesn't look that bad, but in person it was bad. So I went ahead and I did try to highlight using the Make It Forever Color White. I went ahead and contoured, added some blush, some glitter, trying to save it, and I was just not having it. So I went ahead and did my brows, but then I wiped off the lower portion of my face and I repainted it. Only doing one layer this time and not using any of the color white, which I felt like kind of messed up the look. For the eyes, I'm going in with my Jet Cream Paint from Anastasia, and I'm just going to be doing a big wing with this. Going in with my Epic Ink Liner to get that really nice line because my cream paint is a little dried out. I'm also creating a new inner corner, but leaving it not filled in. To add some green glitter, I use my Stila, I can't remember the name of this, <laughs> Liquid, what is it, Moon Glow? I can't remember. I'll link it down below, but I just blended that over top. And then I went in with a Supernova Sparkler from Makeup Geek, this old relic. And I did use an Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner as the glue for that. Next, I'm using my Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit in the shade Lucky Clover just to highlight. And I'm also going to go ahead and line my lower lash lines with a Zero from Urban Decay and then smoke that out a lot. To add some glitter to this, I went in with that Stila and the Heavy Metal Liquid Liner from Urban Decay. I also wanted to add a little bit of red to this look because I am going to be wearing a red skirt. So I'm taking my liner in Torch and placing that on the inner corner. And now it's time to bedazzle my eyes. I didn't know exactly what I was going for with this look, so I just kind of started placing them all over the place. And this is what I ended up with. So for this little rat nose, I'm just using that cream paint and I'm bunning it up my nose a little bit to get a round shape. And for lips, I'm just doing a red lip. For the final makeup touch, I'm adding a little beauty mark. And for this wig, I'm just using a black bob wig with bangs and I did cut the bangs a little bit shorter. For the ears, I was looking at the Amber Car Art drawing. I just drew these out on a piece of construction paper and, and then I just used some acrylic paint to add definition and to add the pinkness of the ears and things like that. I decided I want a gloss so I went in with this Nude Sticks Cherry Gloss, but that's pretty much it onto the costume. For this look I knew I wanted to wear this red skirt, in fact I had the red skirt 
before I had anything else and I pretty much planned the costume around that. So I just paired this with a black kind of laced up tube top and these big bulky boots, which I am putting most of this costume on Depop. Don't know when I'd ever get the chance to wear these again. So both the boots and the skirt are on my Depop right now, which I do have linked down below in case you're interested in checking any of this out. And that's pretty much it for this rat fink look. This is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm gonna go spend at least two hours washing this paint off my body. Despite all the little hiccups that I had with this look and the makeup, <laughs> I really like the way that it turned out. I hope you guys did too. Before you click off this video, don't forget to check the description box where you can find how to enter today's giveaway. I'm giving away a bunch of makeup. I'm also listing my merch down there if you'd like to go check that out if you haven't already, as well as all the products I used here, including outfit and all of that. So check that before you leave, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!